since March is Women History Month, I wanted to make a video about women, supporting women entrepreneurs, even more specific than that, small business entrepreneurs. Hi guys and welcome back scholars if you're new here you may be wondering what is a scholar well a scholar is simply someone who has entered into my teacher daisha's classroom and if you are interested in becoming a scholar today all you have to do is enroll into the classroom by hitting the subscribe button all right as you can see we're almost at 5k scholars thank you so much if you want to wait to the end of the video or even watch a few more videos before committing then i I understand. We're going to be talking about women entrepreneurs today. I'm going to talk about 10 of them. Three in the home goods world, three in the fashion world, and three in the teacher teacherpreneur teacher world or category, okay? And one more that you might can already guess is a bit more close to home, more in the classroom of Teacher Daisha. In the meantime, please, 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 you can do it now. You can wait till I've talked about all of the other wonderful businesses that we're gonna discuss today, but please share some women entrepreneurs that you know or that you would like to just give some spotlight to in the comments below because I, of course, don't know about all of the women entrepreneurs, small businesses, but I'm sure there are many, many, many that I don't know about. So please give them a shout out because every little bit helps. So we would love to have that supportive community going on in the comments below, not just during the month of March, but as long as this video is up. Okay, if you're watching this video in June, share share women on business that you know and that you love without further ado i would like to also thank worky for their assistance with this video so let's learn a little bit more about worky and how it can help you become an entrepreneur if you've ever wanted to become an entrepreneur then you know you need to have a website and with worky that is one step you don't have to worry about anymore and it's a simple personal no code website that allows you to start working on yourself in less than a minute you can have a live website up and running in less than a minute built in booking video calls work management it's all together with zero percent fees on all of your payments which is a great way to get you started on your business. Create a flexible schedule, and you can also receive payments through Stripe and PayPal, things that most of us are already familiar with. Nowadays, in order to be any kind of entrepreneur, you're gonna need a website, whether it's just for your profile or whether it's just so people can book you. And with Worky, you can have just that, either one, a website that fits your specific need for you and for your business. Get it started all today with the wonderful help of Worky, all 100% free. They do have a paid version, but again, that's not required for you to have an awesome website up and running to get you started, especially with no web design or no coding experience required. So again, check out Worky, Worky.net to start your free website today. So let's get right into it because as I said, we have 10 that we're gonna discuss. Some I know personally, some I don't. The first one we're gonna be discussing is Teacher Daisha Services. Woo! I launched my business this month, March 14th. I am a digital content creator, really a social media manager to be more specific. So any video editing or social media design services that you need, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, if you need it, reach out to me and order my services. Check out the website. Again, that's teacherdaisha.com, but more specifically, if you wanna check out my services, that's teacherdaisha.com slash services, okay? So that's enough about me. Let's get into our categories. Our first category is gonna be home goods. And I knew I wanted this to be the first category because this first company that we're gonna talk about is very close to my heart, which is Synchronized Sense. Been around with the channel since last year then you would know synchronized sense because i did a collaboration with them for the giveaway candles and wax milk she does not use soy wax she used coconut apricot wax which just gives you a difference it's just a very luxurious candle and aroma and especially the wooden wicks it makes it sound like fireplace like it's crackling i love it so much she is my sister the owner of this business is my little sister the candles smell amazing and i really really like it because it's very creative each candle their scents are inspired by 
a song or either a musical artist like or a person like she creates it herself and like if this song reminds her of something she'll make the candles smell like that good go-to's that i think just about anybody will like is the lemonade candle and also my galaxy those are some nice sellers so be sure to check her out again that's synchronized sense she does have a website which is synchronizedsense.com and you can also find her on instagram at synchronized sense and youtube at synchronized sense so the next one that we have for home goods is escaping in art so you can find her on etsy and instagram she loves to work with acrylic and watercolor as her mediums all art is original and many one of a kind and free shipping so i really love her art and this is a friend of mine her art is very pretty she really gets me in because a lot of her pieces are like blue they have some kind of blue in them and blue is my favorite color if you can't tell by my branding <laughs> Um, but she, really cool, really lovely water art. And she has some pieces on there that are kind of like bubbles on there. They're very cool. So feel free to check her out. Okay. So again, that is Escaping in Art. And you can find her on Etsy and Instagram. Coming in for our fourth, our fourth women-owned business is Studio Mel Melon. I feel like it's Melon or it might be Malone. I do not know this person at all. Came across them by simply searching like small business. I was looking for a pottery small business to go in the home goods category because I like pottery. And she only has like, 851 subscribers on YouTube, but on Instagram, she has like 50,000 followers. And on TikTok, she has like 17,000 followers. She just launched a new collection two weeks ago and she makes those like... I'm not going to describe it well, so I'm just might as well just put the picture up. But it's it waters the plants. It's a cloud that waters the plants. She has some cool pottery pieces. Um, again, here's her information. You can find her on YouTube, Instagram, and she has her own website. And you can find her on TikTok. Okay. Now we're going to move into the fashion category. The first one I am going to show you is faux gator. Okay, so faux gator. Now this women-owned business is owned by like a very good friend of mine and she makes custom luxurious pieces of clothing so I personally have just had an experience with her where she designed me a custom dress it's a beautiful custom dress I would well, I only worn it once because it was for a special occasion it's a beautiful dress so basically I just told her exactly what I wanted and that's exactly what I got which is rare like usually I'm used to going to the store and just basically settling for what they have. Like I've never really had a specific style that I was going for. I just knew I wanted something nice, modest, and kind of cute. So I just kind of settled for anything that fit those basic parameters for my clothing. But now that I'm kind of wanting to invest in more long-term high quality customized pieces so that's what you get when you go to Fogato. so um i'm gonna try to show the picture that i took but i really did not take a good picture in this dress not not that's not on the dress that's on me so Fogato. the next one is so legit also a really really good friend of mine and she basically does the same thing <laughs> um they makes custom design clothing really good i've worked with her more so with alterations although she doesn't do that much as more she's trying to really focus on her actual designs love her alterations she makes it look like it was originally part of the skirt um basically a lot of people think i'm actually short for some reason like people that i've only met on zoom or people that i've only that have seen me on youtube they think i'm short but i'm not that short i'm not super tall but i'm not short either um <laughs> I think I'm a decent height. But anyway, I say that to say that sometimes when I do go shopping, I don't like to get short things and I want it to be a bit longer, like right at my knee or if like right below my knee. And a lot of things are like right above my knee. So I needed to get like some skirts lengthened and she did that for me. And not just lengthen the skirts, but added pockets to the skirts. <laughs> So yes, love, love, love that. But she will be making some original pieces. But her and my sister work together to make my sister a dress. And this is the dress that she made at So Legit on Instagram. Okay. So the next fashion piece that we have for you guys. Okay. I feel like I'm like a 
curator or whatever. And this curator is going to have to have a quick change of plan. So instead of showing you the original jewelry that I was going to show you, I, I found this new small business, Isabel's Joy Jewelry. And they have some really cool jewelry pieces that is also an Etsy shop. You can follow them on Instagram and also follow them on Etsy and just check out some nice, really cool um, custom made jewelry pieces. So that's going to be it for the fashion um, category. So moving on to our next category. All of these people on Instagram, give them a follow. Okay. You can even DM, hey, you know, your friend Daisha told me about you. So yes those that is it for the fashion category you got you some nice kid nice candles so far you got you some nice jewelry some nice fashion hooking you up right so the last three are going to be a shout out to my fellow teacherpreneurs now this one i'm going to mention right here because this is actually a fellow teacher she's a brick and mortar teacher but she just recently opened a boutique and the boutique is called Keeping It Classy's Boutique, okay? This teacher was a fashion enthusiast, is a fashion enthusiast. And when you look good, you feel good. And she always has wonderful pieces for, it could be from earrings to purses to necklaces to dresses to shirts to blouses to pants. She has everything on her boutique that she has curated, especially to be on her website. So please make sure you check her out. Um, which is also a friend of mine. Another teacherpreneur business that I would like to give a shout out is Podcasting for Educators. Now, I haven't worked with her personally, um, but I think it's just a really cool niche. I've, I always love it when someone can find like a unique spin or a unique need to fulfill. You know, like I would have never assumed anyone could make a career from helping others create podcasts. That's cool. So, and specifically, has, she has niched it specifically podcasting for educators. So, be, feel free to check her out. Her name is Sarah. And yeah, if you're a fellow educator and you want to start a podcast, feel free to reach out. The next one is a fellow teacherpreneur. She's been around on the channel before, like in the past years. Um, Teacher Christy. So, Teacher Christy is a tech advisor for online educators. She removes tech headaches so online educators can achieve more in less time. So feel free to go and give a follow to Teacher Christy. All of these people are on Instagram that I am mentioning. Um, she is on Instagram at, at Teacher Christy W. I think that is it for all of the women-owned businesses that I wanted to shout out. And all right, guys, just want to remind you if you have been inspired at all by any of these wonderful ladies that we talked about today make sure that you check out worky.net to see what you all you have to do to get started with your business you might even have your website up and running before you even know what you're going to do with your business it's just that easy to get started with worky today so make sure you check them out by clicking the link below submit your favorite own women business what did i just say <laughs> submit your favorite women owned business in the comments below it can be big and be small we are going to be expanding our content a little bit here on the channel so if you have any more questions or you want to see something else on the channel soon then feel free to also no don't comment that in the box but to reach out to me teacher daisha teacher daisha at gmail that's going to be all for me today i will see you next time class is missed. bye